Home game number one to start the season off for the Miami Red Hawks occurs. Occurs on this Friday night here from Steve Kane Arena in Oxford, Ohio. Patrick Eschew with you here. Glad you're with us for another season of Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Under the circumstances we're in right now, we are just lucky to be back without a crowd here at Goggin Ice Center as a few of the parents fill into the arena tonight. But a great matchup on hand for you this evening. The Miami Red Hawks battling the Western Michigan Broncos here inside Steve Kane Arena. Patrick Eschew with you here. Glad you're with us tonight. As both of these teams met last weekend back in Kalamazoo, it was a Miami sweep, their first road sweep since January of 2016. They beat the Broncos 5-1 on Sunday, 3-1 on Saturday, and we find ourselves here this weekend, the second weekend of the home portion of the regular season schedule and the first home weekend for Miami this season. We'll have your starting lineups and national anthem now. Puck drop momentarily. Let's listen in to public address announcer Scott Schreiber. The visiting Western Michigan Broncos and your Miami Red Hawks. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here are the starting lineups for tonight's game. First, for the visiting Broncos of Western Michigan, starting in goal, wearing number 35, Alex Aslanidis. Starting in left defense, number 24, Aiden Holt. Starting at right defense, Number seven, Ronnie Natter. Starting at left wing, it's number 21, Josh Castle. Starting at center, number 16, Tim Washi. And at right wing, number 14, Jason Pollen. And the rest of the Broncos. Western Michigan is coached by assistants Dick J. Crew and associate head coach Pat Kirschweiler. The head coach of the Broncos is Andy Murray. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup for your Miami Red Hawks. Starting tonight in goal, the freshman from Indo, Sweden, number 32, Ludwig Pearson. A junior hailing from Troy, Michigan, number 13, Terry Dashney. At right defense, the freshman out of Gothenburg, Sweden, it's number 16, Hampus Rightwist. At left wing tonight, the senior from Phoenix, Arizona, number 67, Bill Nye. Your center is the junior from Newburyville, Illinois, wearing number 26, Matt Perry. And starting at right way, the senior out of Newport, California, number 10, Ben Bow. And the rest of your Miami Red Hawk. Director of Hockey Operations, Jimmy Spratt. Red Hawks are coached by associate head coaches Eric Rude and Barry Schutte. And in his second season at the helm of Miami Ice Hockey, head coach Chris Bergeron. Our officials are assigned for this evening's game by the National Collegiate Hockey Conference. Our referees tonight are Jim Sullivan and Stephen Reno. The linesmen are Eric Frank and Troy Merritt. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise, remove your hats, and join in the playing of our national anthem.
is the starting lineups in National Anthem for tonight's game. From public address announcer Scott Schreiber here inside Goggin Ice Center. So you're starting goaltenders for tonight for Western Michigan. They'll start number 35, Alex Azalanidis. He's the 6'5", 205 freshman out of Morristown, New Jersey. Played his junior hockey at Naaman grads in the CCHL. Three appearances on the air for him. 5.63 goals against 784 save percentage. And yet to render a decision this year is Aslanis. His record 0-0-0. Ludwig Pearson has really looked up to the hype for the Miami Red Hawks. The top ranked rookie goaltender in the NCAA. He will get the start tonight. Number 32 in white. Out of Hindus, Sweden, 6-1, 184 freshman, 4-2-1-1 record, 1.13 goals against average, fifth best in the nation, that is, and a save percentage of 963, which is third best in the NCAA. Officials for tonight's game are assigned by the NCHC, Joe Sullivan and Steven Renault are your referees, Eric Frank and Troy Merritt are the linesmen. So Miami in their home white uniforms, they'll move left to right, to start things off in the game today. Home white uniforms with the red numbers on the back, red names across the back. Western Michigan, their rolled black uniforms. It says Western Michigan across the front in tan. White names on the back and white numbers. First home game of the year for Miami. We'll see how it goes against longtime rival Western Michigan. The drive center ice, the Broncos win it and quickly get it in deep from the left wing as it was dumped in by their top line left wing, Josh Pasult. Renox work it out up the near wing, back through neutral ice and down into the Western Michigan zone. Ronnie Adderd, near circle, will wrap it around the far boards through the far half wall where it's gulped out of the zone and a nice effort there by Jason Poland. He'll try to take it over the Western line on the right wing, but the Red Hawks will break up that play and work it here up through neutral ice over center. Right Quist will dump it in over the line on the right wing behind the Western Michigan net. Aiden Fulp broke up the clearing attempt was Ben Lowne. Cycles it in front for a shot by Bermolini. He was shut down by the pad of Aslanidis. And it's back to center ice where the Red Hawks here will regroup. Left wing Dashke will dump it in over Bermolini's stick behind the Western Michigan net. Broncos working up the near wing boards. Ethan Frank cut off there. Drew Warat takes the puck over the middle of the Miami line to the far half wall. Western Michigan in the offensive zone. Lays it down behind the net. Ethan Frank wraps it around the near half wall. Or it's grabbed there by Western Michigan's Cole Gallant and goes behind the net. Andrew Sinari, the breakout pass, clean exit by the Red Hots. Barbellini, left wing at center, will dump this into the far corner at Chase. Western Michigan first to it, Shedrick Fiedler, able to get it to the near half wall out of the zone where Ethan Frank, the exit pass to hit Michael Joyo. And Miami quickly turns it around at center and Ryan Savage dumps it in over the line from the left wing. Broncos work this one in the far half wall. Fiedler on the far circle, chips it ahead. Washing able to play this one in the far corner of the Miami zone as we're a little over a minute and a half in. Gapsnick the wrap around the far board to the far half wall. Chase Plutsky finds Sladek in the middle through center ice. A little rush the other way. In front, Cassetti was hooked as he came through. The puck was stopped by Aslanidis and eventually ended up in the net as the momentum of Cassetti took the puck in the net way off the moorings. The puck is in the net right now. I think we'll get a review, but at the very least, the arm was up for a hooking call against the defender on that play, Scooter Bricky. And the referees are going to take a look at this one to determine whether or not there was a goal scored. So what happened on the play, you had Cassetti coming down the middle. He just got a centering pass from the right wing. You had Bricky right behind him. Bricky, the hook on Cassetti. Cassetti was able to get a shot up before the hook. So the shot came in as Landy just made the save. And then Cassetti came in on the net. He knocked the net off. The puck trickled in and into the net after the contact was made and the net was taken off its mooring. So the question is, would the puck have gone in anyway had the net not been knocked off? Referees are sorting that out now. Both referees are in the penalty box for our first video review of the game. It takes place with 18-11 to go here in the first. And a no-score game between Miami and Western Michigan. Just getting going here. First of two games this weekend in Oxford between these two teams and the Red Hawks. And Broncos meet tomorrow at 5 o'clock Eastern time in game two of this series. So 
So we have a verdict now as the referees have the headsets off. And the question is, was the puck going to go in anyway, despite the contact from Cassetti on Eslanidis, the Western Michigan goaltender, and the net? Here's our verdict. So they say no goal, and Scooter Bricky will be called for the penalty, two minutes for hooking. So Miami will go to the power play here with 18-11 to go in the first period. Miami power play, that's 13.2% on the season. They're 5 for 38. We're able to score three power play goals against Western Michigan last weekend. Broncos immediately clear after the draw to the right of Eslanidis and behind the Miami net. A Red Hawk power play that was anemic in the pod. He only scored two power play goals in 10 games in Omaha, but the production was a little bit better last weekend in Kalamazoo. Trouble working it through neutral ice. Turnover at the Miami line. Paul Washi down the left wing. A wide open shot on Pearson. He gulfed it wide. It goes out of the zone down the far wing. Ronnie Adder has to chase the puck all the way back to the far corner of the Western Michigan zone and will clear it down the ice behind the Miami net. Derek Dashke will take it out of the Red Hawks end. Plays it back for Casey Gilling. We'll skate this one out over the line on the right wing for Miami. Centers it across. Left point Cassetti. Sets up top of the line for Dashke. Top of the near circle, Gilling a shot. Saved by Aslanidis on his pad. It goes up in the air to the near corner where Matt Berry will get the puck and slide it back to the left point. Grabbed there in the circle by Gilling. He shoots it wide to the net on the ice. Back to the far half wall. Berry cleans up the rebound to Gilling. Down the near half wall. Will skate it to the corner from the point. Banks it off the boards. Dashke right point, little shot. Deflected on its way in, wide to the net. And it's taken in the far corner. Clearing attempt blocked by from Joy Hall. Was blocked by Dashke. Now they get it to the slot and they score. Ryan Savage was there for a nice one-touch pass and a shot that beat Eslanidis right inside the right post. About two inches over the ice. Matt Perry will get the primary assist, but Ryan Savage for the Red Hawks will get his first goal of the season. And a power play tally that gives Miami the 1 0 lead with 16.47 to go in the first. He had Matt Berry standing on the far half wall with a puck. He played it right to the slot. Wide open was Savage, a quick play to get it in on net and beat Aslanidis, who might have been screened right inside his left pad on the right post of the net. Power play tally gives Miami the 1 0 lead, not even four minutes in yet. And as Miami controls the puck in their own end after the center ice draw. Graham feeds Michael Holland, left wing over center ice. Lost control, Ronnie Adderd on it, near corner of the Western Michigan zone, plays it up forward up the left wing boards through center. Robbie Drasner near circle, behind the net for Sinard. In the corner, back behind the cage for his defensive partner, Robbie Drasner, who had a goal last weekend in the series against Western Michigan. And Sinard plays his forward off the stick of Holland, back behind the Western Michigan net. The Broncos will ice it from there, trying to exit the zone, but kind of a botched play through the middle. Draw comes to the left of Western Michigan goaltender, Alex Aslanidis. And you had a Western Michigan goaltending situation that was changed during the pot in Omaha, one of their first few games. You had Brandon Bussey, their normal starter, go down. He's out for the season. I believe what was their third game of the year. They are playing North Dakota. Then you had to have Austin Kane come in. He's been the primary backup, but as Lanny this has seen time as well, and Kane was pulled from the Saturday game last week, the Sunday game, rather, the 5-1 Miami win. And as Lanny this will get the start tonight for Western Michigan. They battle for it far corner of the Miami zone, 15 and a half to go in the first. Red Hawks and Broncos in a three-on-three -three tussle for the puck. It goes behind the Miami net to the near corner where Miami controls, and it's Ben Lau and cross ace to Dylan Moulton, the extra defenseman tonight. He's tripped up left wing right at the red line. No call to play on, and Matt Berry picks up the puck, skates it over the western line left wing. It's Clement coming off the bench through the middle, a wrist shot that went off the left post, deflected to the far half wall, and here comes Western Michigan over the line on the right wing. And he will play this one to the middle, a little play over to Hilson Dagger, who... Fired a backhand shot wide in front. Drew War had supplied the feed from the far side. Now Dashke through the far circle. Missed the stick there of Chase Pletsky. It's back in the Western Michigan end as Fiedler plays it cross ice. 
And on the right wing over the line comes Frank through the circle. Galan, he fanned on a centering attempt, has to take the puck to safety on the far half wall, being chased by Redox. Finally turns it over in the middle to Dashke, who starts Cassetti up the left wing. His chip trying to get it forward over the head of Pletsky down into the Western Michigan end. And the Red Hawks call it for an icing with 14.32 to go in the first. Patrick Eschen with you here on Red Hawk Radio, riding solo tonight, and glad you're with us for a Friday night of hockey action here. In a 1 0 Miami lead, the Red Hawks goal only scored 3 13 into the first period on the power play. Matt Barbellini, they actually give him the credit unassisted, so maybe they say it was tipped as Savage supplied the shot. We'll have to check in on that. I thought Savage had the goal, but. They credit it to Barbellini on the initial word. Army with it in their own end. Here's Hampus Reichwitz. Slides it over on the left wing. Derek Daschke plays it up the far boards. Bar Barbellini at the Miami line will get it back to neutral ice. Western will control it there after a possession change. Chipping it over the line of the left wing. Luke Granger tripped up trying to go after the puck. He got caught in the stick of Hampus Reichwitz. Easy call there for the officials to make. And with 14 minutes to go, even in the first period, Western Michigan will get a chance with their first power play of the game. Red Hawks leader at one nothing, just getting going here in Oxford. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Campus Reichwist in the box for the Red Hawks. Two minute minor for tripping coming out of the timeout. Western Michigan to the power play. They're 18.9% on the year. Draw is to the left of Pearson. The Broncos work it back to center ice pretty quickly. Ethan Frank to Cole Gallant. And it's back in the Western Michigan zone after run out clear. Joy, I'll try to hit a pass right wing over center. Gallant chips it in behind the Miami net. They crash to the near corner. Ben Loud gave it up for Dashke, who comes away with a puck and fires it off glass down the left wing, back to center. Joyo on it there, the play ahead. Over the line comes Galan on the right wing. Feeds it far side for Drew Warad as he's locked up by Derek Dasty coming down the half wall. They feed it back to the right point. Joy all with it there. Center line, fake a slap shot near circle. Frank slid it in front. Nice left pad save by Pearson. Miami can't clear though after the rebound. Warad to the far corner. Poland back to Warad, right point. And this went into the hands of the Red Hawks after a turnover, two on two the other way. Graham and Cassetti, Graham left wing in the circle, a hard wrist shot. And as Lanny just makes the save with a glove, 13.02 to go in the first, 1.02 left in the power play. Nice play by the Red Hawks to break that play up. High in the defensive zone, they took it down on a rush the other way, and Cassetti working there with Graham to create the scoring chance in an offensive zone draw for Miami coming up on the penalty kill. On their far circle of the offensive zone. It's a clean win. Ben Lown won it forward and got to it in the far corner, deep in the Miami offensive end. Aiden Fulpo will strip it from him behind the Western Michigan net. Although miscommunication, he was trying to go D to D to pass all. And the puck went off his stick. Full picks it up. He's with it solo behind the Western Michigan net. Feeds it right wing. Here comes Ronnie Adder over the line on the right side in the far corner. Passalt feeds it to the line as Western sets up in the offensive zone. Fulp right point. Passalt far circle. Fulp center line. Adder to drive near circle. Pad saved by Pearson. Drasner crashes to the corner with a puck with Poland. They battle for it there as it squirts now behind the Miami net. You have a three-on-three -three battle going on down there. Washi comes away with it, back to the line for Fulp. Nice hard one-timer from the right side. Immediately blocked there by Phil Nice. The captain got his legs on it. 
Good job to sacrifice the body. It goes back to center. Westard cycles it there, gets it deep. Pearson will play it up the near wing boards. Phil Nice trying to chip it out of the zone along the near side, but it went into the Miami bench. So that'll cause a stoppage with 12.04 to go in the first. We got a draw coming up in the Miami defensive zone to the right of Pearson with five seconds left in the Hampus Rehnquist minor for tripping. Stick wins, gets the face-off win. It came off the stick of Gillian. The puck goes to the far half wall. Jace Blutsky plays it behind the net. Capstick on it. We'll throw this one in the far corner. It kind of came in front there after the deflection off of Broncos stick. Redox will play it right back behind their own net. Or it's grabbed here by Dylan Moulton. Play in the near corner. Capstick off high glass. Back to center ice. Miami will chase after it. Possible two on one the other way. Plutsky near circle offensive zone. Slid it across to Gilling. Pass too far in front. But Miami sets up in the offensive end. Capstick trying to play it through the middle from the right point. Went off the stick to the far corner. Gilling collides down there with a Western Michigan defenseman. That was Bricky, I think. Two on one the other way now for the Broncos. Watching it front for a shot. That was missed, I think, by Larkin as it was a pad save on the left side of Pearson. Renox work it back to center. Gilling stopped at the western line. Hilson Dagger reaches center ice after the turnover, rips it behind the net, wraps around the boards to the near wing, where the Broncos take over the offensive end. Western Michigan turning on the Jets a little bit. Rome in the near circle, plays it to the right point. Joy all down the boards behind the net. Van Oss grabs it there, trying to skin it up the near wing, being tasseled with by Dashke. It goes to the far corner of the Miami zone. Cassetti plays it up the near wing. Back to center. Sladek, one touch. And it's into the hands here of Barbellini. Back to the line. Slap shot right quest from the blue line. And went wide of the net. About three feet over the ice. Rome battles for it far half wall with Sladek. Western behind their net. Fiedler played it behind his cage. A little cycle to Van Oss. And that was miscommunicated. So they chase it in the far corner. A three on three battle ensues. Fiedler with it through the near circle. Plays it up the left wing. It's Glover reaching the right line at center to dump it in behind the net. Dashke gives it back for Hampus Reichwist in the corner. In the near circle. Plays it forward. Brian Silver, the touch to center. Michael Holland gave it up. Graham trying to take it over the line of the left wing. The play was broken up by the Broncos there, and they take it in their own end. Adder far circle up to the red line at center where Glott chips it into the Miami zone. Drazer off the bench, takes over on the puck, beats out the Broncos, gets it off the far boards, back to the center circle where Silver grabs it, flips it in right wing at center ice. As Lanny this behind his net, play the puck with insurgents coming in. He can't clear the zone off the glass. Drazer right point, slides it over left wing for a shot by Sinard from the blue line that went over the net, deflected off a stick. And Western will clear from that back to center. Drasner D to D in his own end for Sinard. And back for Drasner in the near circle. Plays it up through the middle. Chipped into the zone there by Silver to the far corner. Ronnie Adder grabs it in a Miami change behind the Western Michigan net. A long stretch pass ahead. Paul Washi chips it red line. Over they go. Pass hold a shot from high slot. That is patted away by Pearson to the near corner. Grabbing it here is Barry. Slides it over left wing. A rush the other way for the Red Hots. Alec Capstick over the line on the left side. Trying to feed it ahead for Nyes. They're stopped back at the blue line. Barry kept it in the zone. Western takes over far circle. Jason pulling off high glass back to the near wing. Or it's grabbed by Hilson Dagger. And he tried to chip it back to center. Rock sent it right back in. And Western will chase it in their own end. Hilson Dagger up for a pass hole. It is Tim Washi, Paul's younger brother, to play this one from the left, line, left wing red line at center. Dumps it into the Miami zone. Right twist with it. It's a pass center of the Western line. Gilling plays it off the far half wall behind the Western Michigan net. Coming down the board, Stasky with it. Playing it behind the cage. Savage tussling back there with Fiedler for the puck. They still battle for it. Fiedler comes away with it, kicking it through in his skates. Can't get it though out of the zone as Gilling was there to stop the attempt for a minute. Back to center, the puck goes. Reichwist plays it over the Western line here on the left wing. Maybe a rush. As Reichwist will take this one with one glove. His right glove is off. He's got a bare right hand behind the Western Michigan net to the near boards. Able to cycle it down low for Barbellini in the corner. Broncos flip out but can't clear. You got Dashke with a shot from the line that went wide of the net. Granger chips it forward. Back to center ice. Grabbing it there for Western Michigan. It was Hilson Dagger who plays it behind the net, and it's Casey Gilling on it for Miami. Behind his own cage. Right wing feed to Sladek at center ice. Able to get it to the middle. Pletsky was stripped of the puck by Fulp. He's knocked back 
And Western will continue up ice though. Here comes Zatter over the line right away with a shot from the circle that went nowhere. Kind of fan on the attempt. Rome picks up the puck far corner of the Western offensive zone. Red Hawks there will grab it though. And they'll play this one back to center over the right wing. At center came Sladek, but lost it behind the net for Larkin. And he'll go off the far half while trying to clear it. Drasner back at his own end for Miami. Was stripped of the puck by Van Oss. It comes up the far wing. Or Sinard will grab it, play to the middle for Sladek. The chip to the far corner of the Western Michigan zone. He'll sit dagger on it there. Plays it up the right wing boards. Nice hit on a fiend to Gallant over the Bronco line on the right wing. Bricky to the near wing for Hilson Dagger in the Western Michigan zone. They regroup and try to get it over the Miami line, but Clement was there to stop the play. And the Red Hawks chip it up the near wing boards through center where Holland plays it behind the Miami net. Got a little feed around the boards. Grabbing it there was Granger. Up the right wing boards. Gallant to chip back to center. Coming over the line, two on two the other way of the Broncos, but Warad coming down the right wing boards. Cannot center the play, the puck, but a nice play there by Clement to keep that from happening. Holland left wing at center, dumps this into the far corner, and I guess he didn't reach the red line of the Western Michigan zone. He's trying to play at far corner of the Western Michigan zone, but Holland about a foot in front of the red line on the left wing before he let go of the puck, and that is an icing call as he was in front of the center line. 6.23 to go in the first, one nothing Miami. They lead the shot 6-4. And the draw to the right here of Pearson. One to the near corner, Dylan Moulton, the wrap around the far boards, grabbed there by Holland. Gave it up for Passel, Silver will get it back to center. It's sent back in the Miami zone, though, Red Hawks will regroup. Here's Moulton, right wing at center, Graham the cross corner dump into the far side. Joyo grabs it here for Western Michigan, plays it up the right wing boards. Paul Washi over the line on the right wing, down the far half wall for Western Michigan. Gave it back for Passel in the corner, back for Washi, near circle, Adder the one-timer. Kind of caught him off balance. Pat Say Pearson in the near corner. Lown picks it up there. Back to center. Barry couldn't grab the pass. It was too far in front. Pass sold right wing at center. Over the Miami line on the right side. Paul Washi back for Pasult in the far circle. His shot kind of fanned on, but it was turned aside by Pearson. Granger coming out of the near corner. Went behind the net. The centering pass in front. Pass sold the forehand shove right into the pads of Pearson who makes the stop with 5.34 to go in period number one for a timeout. Red Hawks lead it one to nothing over Western Michigan in the later stages of the first now. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Remains in period number one, a one nothing lead for Miami over Western Michigan. Broncos leading the shot seven to six. Patrick Eschen back with the on Red Hawk Radio. Glad you're with us tonight. As the Red Hawks trying to win three straight this season, they could do so with a win tonight against the Broncos. Puck in the near circle, Western Michigan offensive zone. It's Jake Hillenbrand plays it through the far half wall. Ronnie Adderd with a shot there that goes off of Miami stick and out of play behind the net with 5.20 to go in the first. A game that's had a lot of pace to it. Not too many whistles in this one early on. A lot of back and forth play between both teams. Still somewhat of a feeling out process happening though between the Broncos and the Red Hawks. And it's Miami with a power play goal that was scored by Barbellini just over three minutes in. That's the difference in this game so far. Miami out of their own end after the draw in their zone, Sladek. Leaves it over the line in the left wing, reaches the near corner with a puck where it's grabbed by Cassetti. He'll play this one to the right point for Drasner, who was actually hit out of position, so the pass never connected. 
And Cassetti back in his own end to play it. Means it up the left wing boards at center ice. And it's Plutsky and Slatic in a battle there with Western Michigan's Ty Glover. Puck goes to the near corner of the Western Michigan offensive end. Drasner strips Glover away of the puck there. Van Oss crashes into Drasner before he can get rid of it. Van Oss at the far half wall, plays it to the top of the far circle. Slatic picks off a pass. Plutsky up the left wing, will play this one into the Western Michigan zone right at center ice. They wave off the icing from that. And it's Adder behind his net, plays it far circle for Bricky. Play in the middle of the ice, Holland in on goal on oh, his nice landing disc. He'll clear it to the near side, but not out. Graham a try for the right point. It was loose on the right pad. And as landing disc for a second, Holland came in trying to get the puck, but as landing disc with the cover just before Holland coming in. And we'll get another timeout here with 4.17 to go in period number one. Red Hawks still lead at 1-0. Your shots are even at seven apiece. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Seventeen remains in period number one. Patrick Gesson back with you here on Red Hawk Radio inside Goggin Ice Center. Glad you're with us tonight. Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio with the Red Hawks getting the first goal on the weekend in this one. Face up to the left of Eslandidis who's in the Western Michigan net tonight. Red Hawks in the offensive zone working to the far circle. Back to the right point for Clement. A drive over the net. Little wrist shot. Over the top left corner of the cage. Three on one the other way for Western Michigan. Adder will just take it right down the middle. Spin around play to the right wing. For a shot by Warad, shut down by the left pad of Pearson. It goes to the far corner. Graham will play it ahead for Silver in the circle. And he'll feed it right wing over the center line. Comes Capstick and into the offensive zone. Adder knocks him off the puck. Frank the wraparound to the far side. Two on two the other way for the Broncos. Is carrying it over the line is Galan. He'll hit the brakes top of the far circle. Fire a wrister wide of Pearson. And it's picked up in the near side of the Miami zone by Graham. The cross ice feed through the air. Reaches Derek Daschke far half of the Western Michigan zone. Nilsson Dagger takes over the puck from him there. Plays it up the airway boards. Passel chipped it over past Lown. Lown with it in the near corner. Gave it up for Passel. Play to the middle is broken up. He'll scan it up the left wing boards through center. Where it's turned over to Reichwist at the Miami line. Reichwist D to D for Daschke. Over the line on the right way. Comes Lown to the corner. He centered it in front for Barry. Play broken up by Joyle. Miami keeps it in, though. Center line. Dashke a spin around play to try to get a deep one off the shin guard. And over the line left wing comes Paul Wapsie. He's in the corner with it behind the Miami net. Play to the right point. Joyle winds up for a slap shot. That goes into bodies in front of the cage. Pass hole in the far corner. On the puck for the Broncos. Grabbing it there is Ryquist behind the Miami cage. He will flip this one cross ice through center into the Western Michigan zone. Joyo will play it out from there. Went off the stick of the recipient pass hold to the right wing at center where Tim Washi trying to dump it into the zone. And it goes up and out of play as his attempt to try to get it off high glass and into the zone with went into the seats instead. So with 2.26 to go in the first, a 1 0 Miami lead. And the draw neutralized Miami left wing. Gilling will win it back for Drasner and Siddharth. Drasner off the right wing to center. Savage there. Larkin tripped up trying to come through and steal the puck. Over the middle of the line comes Gilling. A little give and go with Barbellini who tried to give it back for Gilling. Coming down the middle of the zone right in front of Aslanidis. The pass came in front of Gilling and Aslanidis made the cover as Gilling 
too far behind the puck to make the cover on the chance. So the drive comes to the right of Aslanidis. 212 to go in the first. one nothing Miami. And it will be Gilling in the draw with Paul Washi. 1-2 to the far half wall. Savage in the corner will play this one. A bad angle shot that Aslanidis sends to the far corner again. Paul Washi up the far half wall for Western Michigan. Back to center ice. It's in front of the penalty box now where Savage cannot play it forward. Instead, Western Michigan over the Miami line. On the left wing, Fulp turned it over to Barbellini, high in the zone. Paul Wachi trying to angle him off the puck, and Sennard will go with it behind the net to Trasner and to the far side for Savage. The play out to center, over the line, left wing comes Barbellini through the circle, spins around to the far corner. Barbellini tied up there with Pasult. Now you got Bricky joining the party as well. Miami wins the battle, they get it to the line. And it's in the near circle now. Molten, a little shot on the ice wide left of Aslanidis. Clement gives it back to the left point where it's a drive by Moulton. Another good save by his landing disc. That time it reached the net and he got it in the bread basket. Here comes Basolt skating out of the western Michigan end and he'll go through center ice with it and dump it in right at the red line to the far corner where western Michigan will get a five-man change. Clement behind his own net with a puck. Plays it up the nearing boards. Moulton slides it high in the zone. Bletsky trying to hit Sladek at center. The puck went past him right to the stick of Hilson Dagger in his own end. Chips it ahead for Warad and to the near side of the Miami zone where Moulton plays it back to center. Loud cross ice. Cassetti over the line, middle of the ice. Gallant handles it there. Well, it's taking it behind the Western Michigan net. Turned it over far circle though. Cassetti in the center he play. Loud stick was up in the air. Couldn't catch the pass. Right quest near corner with a puck. Feeds it to the line. Dasky, center of the ice. We'll play this one to the far circle. Gallant turns it over. I think he was trying to shoot it, but on off his stick and wide to the Western Michigan players. Now Dashke in his own end. Gives the puck to Phil Nyes in the near circle. Back up the wall for Dashke. The center where Van Oss chips it into the Miami zone. Red Hawks will chase it to the far corner. Reichwist will lose the battle to Van Oss. The race to the puck. Van Oss, the feed to the far circle. Joyal got it in front. Glover trying to stuff it on the right post. Still loose. Miami can't clear it. And they score. Ronnie Adderd came through on the loose puck. The right-handed shot. A little backhand play over the outstretched right pad of Pearson with the cluster in front of the net. And Western Michigan has tied the game with 1.2 seconds to go in the first. 1-1, one, one, your new score is Ronnie Adderd with a cluster of about four players in front. Came in from the blue line, a loose puck that nobody could get a stick on. He had Pearson down, he was screened. And Adderd came from the center of the blue line down to the near circle to Miami zone where he was able to backhand a one-timer over the right pad of Pearson. So the period ends right after the center ice draw and the Miami Red Hawks and Western Michigan Broncos are tied after 20 minutes of play here from Oxford at the one. Broncos lead the shots nine to eight after 20 minutes of action. So they give the goal to Ronnie Adder. It was an even strength unassisted tally. Number two of the season for Adder, who's the sophomore out of White Lake, Michigan. And then the Red Hawks, kind of an unfortunate end to that period that they started off pretty well with the goal, but things kind of went downhill there in that last minute with the cluster in front of the net. So again, your shots are led by Western Michigan, 9 to 8 after 20 minutes. The Miami goal in that period came pretty early on. It was 3-13 into the second on the power play. They do credit that goal to Ryan Savage. Originally it was given to Barbellini, and I thought they had it wrong, but Savage is credited for that goal on the power play. The assists to Casey Gilling and Matt Berry. Again, that goal is at 3.13, and now you have the Western Michigan goal credited to Ronnie Adder at even strength unassisted, and we're tied at one. That goal coming 19.59 into that first period. There's 1.2 seconds left on the clock when it was scored. Let's take a little look here at the stats after 20 minutes. So again, we're tied at one in the goal column. Shots are led by Western 9 to 8. Red Hawks are one for one on the power play tonight. They score that power play goal. 
Uh, again, by Ryan Savage, that was on the power play. It was a tripping minor that occurred early in the period for Western Michigan. Broncos had a power play chance of their own in that period. They are 0 for 1, unable to score on it. Faceoffs are won by Miami. That count is led at 9 to 6. And Red Hawks with three block shots to Western Michigan's two. And that's kind of where we stand here after 20 minutes from Oxford. So again, Miami won, Western Michigan won. Our first intermission coming up here on Red Hawk Radio as the Broncos and the Red Hawks skate to a pretty even first period there. A lot of chances for both teams, a lot of shots for both teams, and a fair amount of offense in its own time spread equally among both teams. But it is the Red Hawks and Broncos with an even score as well at 1-1 after 20. So our second period will begin in about 12 minutes or so. We we'll hope you stick with us through the intermission and join us for the second after this quick little break. Our first intermission here in Oxford, 1-1 your score between Miami and Western Michigan. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
Patrick Hitch back with the Aaron Goggin Ice Center ahead of period number two between Miami and Western Michigan on the ice. Glad you're with us on Red Hawk Radio tonight as our first intermission wrapping up. Red Hawks and Broncos are tied at one. If you're just joining us in what was a pretty even period back and forth between both teams in the first 20 minutes. And should expect more of the same here in the second. Miami moves right to left across your radio in their home white uniforms here in the second. And they win the center ice draw back as Derek Tasky in his own end. A play ahead for Matt Berry over the red line at center. But he was broken up by Passelt, who flies this one behind the Miami net into the near half of the Western offensive zone. Poland grabs it there for a quick shot. Paul Washi saved it. Or excuse me, Pearson saved it to the corner where Paul Washi could not save the puck from going out. And the Red Hawks here will regroup with a puck back in their own end. Dashke the feed to the right wing at center. Blount springboards Barry ahead. Far circle offense his zone. Can't get a centering feed through Adderd. And Western Michigan takes over here for a play all the way down the ice. A stretch pass that will be waved off for the icing as Washi was able to grab it behind the net. I thought that was a guaranteed icing. And it goes in on Pearson who makes the cover on the post. A pass came from the from in front of the red line on the right wing in neutral ice. It went over to Paul Washi, it was intended for him on the left wing. The pass was about 10 feet in front of him. It went off the far half wall in on Pearson who made the cover eventually after it came off the end boards, but they waved the icing off thinking that Washi had enough room on it. So the Red Hawks are here back in their own end. Barbellini will play this one to the middle. Casey Gilling on the puck. Turns it over right at center. Gallant to one on the other way over to Frank. A shot. Pat saved by Pearson. Goes back behind the net to the near corner. Warat to the line for Bricky. Hard shot there. Went off the stick and out of play with 18.51 remaining in the second. So you got a Western Michigan team that comes into this game eighth in the NCAA team. They have eight points. The next teams in front of them have 14 points in Miami and Colorado College standings-wise. And a Bronco team that's kind of struggling from last year. Of course, the explosive offensive game was what defined Andy Murray's squad, but Western Michigan losing three of their top five scores from last season. And so trying to find who can provide them with the most offensive production. You have Passold, who's been a big part of that. Ronnie Adderd as well on defense. One of the those two, the offensive depth has been an issue for Western this year. Renox working into the far corner of the offense's own. Cassetti turned aside by Fiedler. Frank with a puck far set for Western Michigan. Can't clear it out up the boards. It comes in on Joyo. Back to the line for Granger. And to center ice where Rydquist feeds it right wing. And here is Clement. Play through the middle. Cassetti chips it over the line to the far corner. Grabbed by Fiedler. Wraps it around the boards to the far side where it is Hampus Rydquist. Turns it over to Sladek. And back to his own end is Dashi. Sladek far circle, slides this one up the right wing boards through center to the far corner of the Miami offensive zone. They wave the icing off though as Joyal beat the puck. It was kind of slow moving it toward the goal line. Long stretch pass ahead, Hillebrand over the line on the left wing. Granger trying to help him get to the corner. It's a two on two battle as Dashke moves this one out of the battle but back to the line it goes. Folk fans on a cross ice pass to the right point for Radnard who dumps it behind the Miami net. Pearson grabs it there. Monty Graham coming through the far circle for the Red Hawks. Off the boards and back to center. Silver there with the pluck. Gave it up for Graham. Back to the near circle for Dabsky. Slides it far side for Drasner. And the play up the right wing boards and it's slid into the zone by Silver. As Lanny this behind the net. Plays it up the near half wall. Sinard left point. Got a hold of the puck and ripped a shot. And as Lanny this will cover up with his pads. 17-13 to go in the second. We're tied at one between Miami and Western Michigan, and the shots are 10-9 Broncos. Draw coming to the right of Aslanidis. And it is Matt Berry who will take it against Drew Warad. Matt Berry on that second line, the center tonight, had a three-point weekend last week in Kalamazoo. The junior out of Naperville, Illinois, two goals on the year for him, eight points. We'll lose the drive, goes to the far side of the Miami offensive end, but the Rats turn it over there. It's Ben Loud, quickly slid it, 
past Van Ossis stick deep into the zone. Near half wall, it's Phil Nyes as Miami sets up on offense. He loses the puck in a one against three battle to Washi, who plays it back to center. Drasner in his own end for the Red Hawks will use his nifty skating skills to get it up the left wing away from the Western Michigan four checkers. Loud chips it to the near corner of the Miami offensive zone. Rome gets it out up through center ice. Comes Paul Washi over the middle of the line, but he kind of delayed his zone entry and caused the Broncos to be offside, so they have to regroup back in their own end. Fiedler to Hilson Dagger, over the line on the right wing. The play broken up there. Nice job by Moulton. Back to center it goes, and the Broncos chip this one to the far corner of the Miami zone for an icing call as they were trying to stretch a pass through the middle of the ice. And Western Michigan will have to stay out. I think it was Jason Poland who tried to play that puck forward. So we have an Drop coming up to the left of Eslani to send the Miami offensive end after the icing. 16.22 to go here in the second. Kind of an interesting fact coming into this game. The all-time series between these two teams is tied at 70, 70, and 12. So the 153rd all-time meeting between Miami and Western Michigan taking place this evening. Here comes Passel over the line and the left wing for Western Michigan into the offensive zone. Reichwist breaks it up in the far corner and springboard Savage with a lane on the ice up the right wing over the Bronco line. He'll turn around top of the far circle but lose it. As a nice defensive play by Fulp, able to get it off his stick. Fulp over the line on the right wing will shoot it in on Pearson. Nice left pad save to the near corner where it's grabbed behind the net by Dashke and up the far boards for Reichwist. Grabbed there by Casey Gilling, and the play left wing at center, off the stick of Savage over the Bronco line. Near corner, Adder, the backhand play to the far side where Barbellini grabs it. He'll try to kick it free and ahead, wraps it around to the far side where Frank let it go for Drasner. Now at the far half wall, Cassetti plays it back behind the net. Adder grabs it there for Western Michigan, turned it over though the slot at near circle, and Adder unable to play it out and up the far corner where you got Fulp, who will play this one left wing at center for Warad. Middle of the ice, Gallant will play it to Adder. Near circle, right wing of the ice. Gets it behind the net. And Frank in the far corner for Western Michigan will give it up for Drasner. Is coming in to join the party was Poland. Now middle of the ice in the slot. Adder delayed on the wrist shot but went over the left side of the net. Slotted gets it back to center. And Western Michigan takes over there and regroups. And will dump it into the near corner of the Miami zone. Drasner reverses direction of the puck up the near half wall. Cassetti turns it over there to Granger. Back for Hillebrand in the slot. A shot sticked away by Pearson. Back up high in the zone. Cassetti can't get it out. Loose top of the far circle. Drasner back to the Miami slot. Or it is Sinard who will play this one up the left wing boards off the stick of Pletsky and behind the Western Michigan net. Esselani just leaves it there for Bricky. Over the line of the left wing, Hill and Brand chipped a long stretch pass behind the red hot cage. Kapsnick wraps it around the near boards. Holland will chip this one in front of the Western Michigan bench into the glove of Lucas Glover. He gives it right back to the Red Hawks in their own end. Kapsnick, Dina Dina, the far side. Pass hits Nate Silver over the line on the right wing. The Bronco line, that is. Fiedler stripped it from him, immediately entering the zone. And on the near half wall, Van Oss played it to the middle. Monty Graham with it near corner after the turnover. Trying to go back to the left point for Capstick, but he was three feet right of the pass, and it goes back behind the Red Hawk net. Clement for Capstick near corner. Stretch play through the middle, off the stick of Van Oss. Clement up the right wing boards. Ben Lown missed the pass there. Clement will play this one from in front of the red line to the near side of the Western Michigan zone for an icing with 13.41 to go in the second. So kind of poor puck handling on that last sequence for the Red Hawks and during the shift. Poor icing there as Kapsik really didn't have anybody to give it to through the middle of the ice. Kind of a emergency clear, if you will. He stopped to the right of Pearson, one back to the left point. Fault the shot wide of the net for the Broncos. They go behind the net. Kapsik can't clear up the near wing boards. Adderd. Played it from the half wall right into the bread basket of Pearson. He's got it in his glove with the cover and 13.32 to go in the second. Red Hawks and Broncos are tied at one nearly halfway through this one. You're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
13-32 to go in the second. Patrick Eschen back with the Eric Coggan Ice Center in Oxford. Tied 1-1 or Miami and Western Michigan on the ice tonight. Red Hawks work it out to their own end after a defensive zone draw. It's back in the Western Michigan end. Pass to Dean and Edo Adderd on the right wing. And at center ice, Daschke will give it up here for Rykwist. Near circle the zone over the far wing where Savage gains it to center over the Bronco line on the right wing. And he had Barbellini with him on the rush who was offside, jumped just ahead of the line before Savage took his time carrying the puck into the zone. So the draw comes in neutralized to the Miami right wing, closest to the Bronco line. And it looks like Barry will score off in this one with Drew Warad. Clean win back for Western Michigan. Hilson Dagger plays it right wing. Sinard and Gallant tie over the puck as it goes over the Miami line on the right side. Gallant will emerge with it at the half wall, scan it to the middle. Now Warad trying to shoot it over the net it goes. We had a penalty coming up on the Red Hawks. Bricky right point will play this one to the far corner off a of bounce. And the penalty is assessed here. The play stopped. We got a tripping minor coming up and I think they got Barry. And I really didn't see what the call was. He maybe tripped somebody up during that sequence when the puck was battled for as players went over the Miami line. Nobody fell down on the ice, so it must have been a stick got in somebody's skates and enough to warrant a penalty. So this will be power play number two for Western Michigan tonight. They are 0 for 1 on the power play, tripping the call against Barry. So a chance to take the lead the Broncos have. They have it near half wall of the offensive zone. Passel up for Fulp, middle of the line. Near wing for Passel in the circle to the corner for Paul Wash. He slides it right point. Fulp with it. Down to the near corner. Passel trying to go against Clement down there. Coming up the near wing. Paul Washi back to the line for Fulp. Slides it left point for a shot by Adder right into the shin pads of Graham. Who clears it to center. Bolt for Adder over the Miami line on the right wing. In on Pearson, who slides it to the far corner. Graham will slap shot this one back to the left point. Fulp skates a very high slot. The shot wide in the net, deflected off a skate. Red Hawks clearing attempt is blocked down in the near circle by Graham. Pulling with it, top of the far circle for Western Michigan. Fulp right point, far side for Adder. Skates it high slot. In and back out, back for Fulp. Center blue line, the shot on the ice. Dipped off Washi skates in front. Sinard chases it to the far corner, but can't clear. Adder kept it in left point. Slides it far side. Near circle. Pass on a one-timer and a bullet top shelf. 2-1 Western Michigan on a power play goal. Pearson, no chance at that one. And Josh Passelt, the senior, delivers on the power play for Western Michigan. Their first lead of the night at 2-1. Fourth of the year for the senior out of Hayward, Wisconsin. Puck was on the far circle of the zone. And it was sent across by, I think it was Aiden Fulp over there from the far circle who played it to the near side for Passolt. Wound up for a bullet of a one-timer that went top center of the net. And you had Pearson who was kind of down already. Would have had no shot on that one anyway. That was a very hard shot. Power play goal on the Barry Minor. Wester right back into the offensive zone. Galan is shot. Big rebound patted away by Pearson in the near wing. Red Hawks cannot clear it. Bricky's drive from the right point way wide of the net. And it's finally back to center on the stick of Hilson. Dagger left wing at the red line. Turns it over at the Red Hawk line. Trying to go over it on the left wing. Dashke the cross his feet. Picked off by Hilson Dagger. He has Hillebrand with him. Hilson Dagger left wing. Trying to play it to the middle. Blocked down with it behind the net. And a centering feed in front. Missed Gilling, but it went out of the zone as Fiedler plays it forward for Hillendagger. And Tim Washi will dump it behind the Miami net from the left wing. Pearson behind his cage, wraps it around the high glass near side, back to center. Monster back in their own end will grab it as Fiedler plays it left wing over the line. Comes Hillebrand, the play through the crease. Pearson never got a stick on it. Right point, Joyo a shot, patted away by Pearson to the far side. Fiedler behind his cage, Rykwist to the near corner. Grabbed here by Phil Nice. Up the boards, back to center. Well, as he skated it, Tim Washi turned it over, lost it though, coming over the Miami line. And it's Ben Lown in his zone end. The right wing feed past Matt Berry at center, who chipped it. 
behind the, behind the Western Michigan net. Has landed this there. Came it for Fiedler. Turned over though behind the Bronco cage. Barry coming up the near half wall with a puck. Will spin around and play it back behind the net. It's Fiedler to the far corner. Coming in was Moulton to keep it in at the right point. Fiedler in the far corner of the Western zone. Moulton, far half wall. Gave it up for Lau. The wrap around the boards to the near wing. Capstick left point. Can't play this one into the zone as Van Oss is right there to block the attempt. Comes all the way back down to the Miami zone and Capsic wraps it around the boards and over the line on the right wing comes Plutsky. Behind the net for Sladek. Skates it to the near corner where he was checked off the puck by Adderd. Sladek behind the net to the far side where it's Plutsky to grab it. Back to the right point. Capsic on one knee able to keep the puck in the zone. Into the far corner. Sladek takes it up the half wall. Center of the blue line now is Sladek for Capsic trying to skate through four players in the middle of the ice. Doesn't work that way. And Western back the other way. Here's Rowan. Pitts. Pan Oss in the middle, the puck over his stick on the centering feed to the far corner of the offensive end for the Broncos. Capstick grabbed it there, played it to the middle of the ice. Red Hawks able to work into the center circle and Sladek over the Bronco line to the right wing. Novi Michigan native will play it from the far half wall back behind the net. Cassetti on it. Ilson Dagger though wins the battle with him. Broncos can't clear up the right point. Drazer plays it wide of the net to the near corner, or it's Cassetti who will give this one up to Fulp, the chipping play back to center. Drazer for Silver over the Bronco line on the right wing. It aligns it right in there on the play. Two on three battle for the Red Hawks. They're trying to keep it in the zone. They can't. It comes out up the far boards and through center comes Passold with a puck. Chips it over Drazer as they go in. Broncos offside for a brief second as Paul Wazzi on the rush. They tag up. It's back at the left wing red line and into the Miami zone where Sennard plays it in front of his own net past Drazner and to the near corner. Western with a nice forecheck. They'll take it over there. Poland skating it up the near half wall on the Bronco offensive end. Turns over at the red line. The high play in the zone. Washi blocked it down on his own man's shot. And a four on one the other way for the Red Hawks. Drazner over the line left wing will decide to just shoot it. And as Lanny just has it in the bread basket after a weak wrister came in from Drasner with 8.01 to go in the second. Timeout coming here for the Red Hawks. Western Michigan has taken a 2-1 lead in this hockey game after a power play goal by Josh Passel. And the Red Hawks struggling a little bit. Can they pick it up? 8.01 to go in the second. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. And one to go in the second. Coming out of the timeout, the draw to the right of Aslanidis. Broncos work it out and into the offensive zone. As Ethan Frank came into the far corner of the puck on Gallant. Fulp crashes into the far side with Ben Lown. They try to work it out. Red Hawks can't out of their own end. Lown finally turns it over to Dasky near circle to Miami zone. Through center ice up the left wing and out where Phil Nice chases it over the Bronco line. And then you... Western Michigan defenseman will clear it all the way down the ice for an icing as it went to the left of Pearson's net. I think it was Adderd who did that. 7.31 to go in the second. 2-1 Broncos on top. Patrick Eschen with you here on Red Hawk Radio this evening. Glad you're with us. There's the draw coming to the left of Aslanidis. Clean went for Western Michigan, and it's right out of the zone. Go on, over the red line at center, over the Miami line to the near circle. A little shot that was patted away by Pearson in the far half wall. Gilling grabs it there. The play over the line left wing comes Ryquist. He tripped up on Adder, who went down for some reason, coming in on the rush. Buck in the near corner. Gilling 
Trying to work for it in the near hash marks. He and Tim Washi tie up for it. Miami wins the battle. Far point is Ryquist right in front for a play by Savage. Forehand, backhand. Padded away by his landiness. And Western clears it to center and beyond. Ryquist to the far corner of the Miami zone. Cannot play it forward. Granger in off the bench. Able to get to the puck in the far corner. Granger spins around there up to the left point. And now on the right side, Joyal with it. The shot from the circle area was padded away by Pearson. Killings clearing attempt far. Half wall right to Joyal in the center circle. And it will be put into the zone on the far side by Fiedler. Dashke in the near corner of the zone. Gave it up for Ryquist who flies it out of play along the near wing. And Reichwist is a little shaken up right now. Redux cannot change. He seems off balance and bent over right now. And Chris Bergeron is going to call a timeout. He's either really tired or something's wrong. I'm trying to see. He's kind of limping off the ice there. And no weight on the left leg for Hampus. Reichwist is going to go see the trainer, Drew Rumpelshaus. So Miami has called a timeout after that play. They've trailed 2-1 to Western Michigan with 6.24 to go in the second period. And that Bronco goal was scored 12.29 into the second. As, or excuse me, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. That Bronco goal was actually scored 8.19 into the second. Josh Passel on the power play. The assist to Aiden Fulp and Ronnie Adderd. Gave Western Michigan a 2-1 lead in this hockey game. Broncos are actually 3-0-1 in their last four trips to Goggin. So they've done quite well in Oxford the last few times they've been here. Of course, come here once a year for a road series. They stop to the left of Pearson in the near corner. Moulton plays it out up the left way boards through center. Pletsky. Gave it up for Hilson Dagger and Western Michigan over the line on the right wing. Here's Van Oss, reaches the circle for a left-handed shot. And goes over the net to the far corner. Bricky picks it up at the half ball for the Broncos. Clement up the far wing boards. Cassetti will slowly skate it out of the zone. And at the right wing will chip this one over the line. Pletsky will beat out the icing to the far corner of the offensive end. Sladek feeds it up the near wing boards. Left point, Molten shot blocked down in front. Van Oss. Over the left wing for the Western Michigan Broncos. Hits the break at the half wall. Trying to spin around past the defender. Got the puck to Glover. Little backhand play. Patted away by Pearson on the post. And up through center comes Cassetti. Right wing at the red line to dump it into the far corner of the Bronco end. A Miami five-man change. Adder, long stretch pass to the Miami line. Left wing, Paul Washi trying to play it ahead for Passolt. The pass could not connect. They play it back to the right point where it's Robbie Drazer on it. We'll play this one forward up the left wing. Holland over the line to the top of the near circle. Spins around there to get it in front for a shot by Graham who came in. He just slid it wide. Broncos work this one back to center. Sinard leans it right wing. Drazner back for Sinard. Left wing to play it right side at center for Silver. Fulp in the far circle for Western Michigan with it behind the net. And in the corner, plays it ahead on the right wing. Where Holland lays a hard in on Poland. They're able to get it to center, though. Fulp over the line of the left wing. The shot blocked down by Drazner. Passel with a play that will go out of play as he tried to shoot it over Pearson, or on Pearson, but it went over Pearson and out off the netting. So 4.47 to go in the second. Western Michigan 2, Miami 1. The Broncos leading the shots 21 to 11 with a timeout here in Oxford. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
447 remains here in the second. A two on Bronco lead over Miami. Shots are 21-11 in favor of Western Michigan. Drop coming up to the right of Pearson. Barry will take it against Warad. One to the far corner. Reichwist gets it out through center into the Western Michigan zone. Nines and Joyo chase after it there in the far corner and it goes behind the net for Fiedler. Fiedler up the near wing boards. Turned aside there by Barry. Back to center ice. Baske trying to chip it ahead right to the stick of Ethan Franco. Near circle, skates in the zone in front for Joyo. His shot just wide left on the backhand one-timer left post. All the way back to the Western Michigan zone it goes. Red Hawks try to get control for a second. Broncos hold on to it. Gallant to the near circle for Joyo. Plays at center of the Miami line for Frank. Nice pass there. Chips it forward where Daske batted it out of midair to the near corner. Or had the play behind the net. Frank with it, right post. Gives it up. Here's Hilson Dagger behind the net to the near corner. Gave it up for a play past Granger. Tim Washi sticked it off of Barry. Back to the near half wall. It's Warad. Gave it up for Tim Washi. And he played it on net for a second. Sticked away there by Pearson. Here comes Clement to play forward. Barbellini right wing at center. Hit off the puck by Hilson Dagger. Savage trying to play it into the zone but can't. And he will turn it over though from Tim Washi who then steals it back and gets it to the right wing over the Miami line. Ahead for a shot by Hillebrand who's in the slot coming down the middle. A little backhand play. Pearson a bad save. It comes back in on him after getting control of the puck. On the left point was Tim Washi. It came in on the ice and Pearson the cover with 3.24 to go in the second. Western Michigan has twice as many shots as Miami right now. 22 to 11. They lead that count. So you can see why there is some level of frustration. Well, you can't see it, but it is on the Miami bench right now, the body language of the coaches and the players. Gerard coming up here to the left of Pearson. Gassetti will take it against Van Oss. Clean win to the near corner for the Red Hawks in their own end. Dylan Moulton, the chip all the way down the ice from the near corner of his own end. Fulp grabs a near circle. Western Michigan zone off the boards for Adder, who skates it right in front of his own net and back behind the net. Adder plays it up the right wing boards. Pass center ice over the Miami line. Broncos chase it to the far half while Van Oss in front went right through the crease. Adder came through on the right point with a bomb over the net. And you got Fulp chasing the puck back in the Western Michigan zone. No ice and calls Miami in a full five-man change. Played ahead up the right wing boards all the way down the ice. Fulp trying to stretch it out for Van Oss. And you got an ice and call here with 2.43 to go in the second as the pass could not connect. So the draw comes to the right of Aslani this year. And I think Andy Murray just called Western Michigan's timeout. So a shift where his players have been out there for a few minutes and Andy Murray decides to give them a rest as doesn't want his players tired in the defensive zone with 2.43 to go in the second. Probably would like to keep the Western Michigan lead into the locker room after two periods of play. But Miami started the game off with a little bit of spark, a little bit of energy. They score the first goal about three minutes in and then after that, kind of the foot has slowly come off the gas pedal more and more as we've gone through this game tonight. Miami, well, poor puck handling, they lack energy. They're not really taking it to the Broncos. Offensive chances are somewhat there for Miami, but the lack of energy from the Red Hawks a bit concerning here. As they're just unable to really push hard on the Broncos. It's almost like they don't really want it. We'll see if anything changes here as we go throughout the game. 2.43 to go in the second. Draw coming to the right of Aslanidis. You got Monty Graham taking it for the Red Hawks against Drew War out of Western Michigan. Clean went back to the left point. Drazer went off hard his stick. And Gallant finds Frank over the line of the left point for Western Michigan. He takes it behind the Miami net. Frank up the near half wall. Plays it right point for Bricky. Slides it left wing for Hilson Dagger. His purposeful wide shot will go behind the net and it's grabbed by Sinard who clears it up the left wing boards. Broncos at center will give it right back to the Red Hawks in their own end. Here comes Graham skating over the Bronco line on the right wing. Fires a wrist shot top of the far circle. Goes off a body and behind the net. 
Holland crashes down in there with Washi. It skates up the near half wall where Silver and Graham tussle for it. A two on three battle. Warad grabs control for Western Michigan. Gets out the lob wedge to play it back to center. And Drazer in his own end will regroup with a puck for Miami. And he'll be forced to take it behind the net on a Western Michigan four check. It's a pass right wing at center, which went off the stick of Barry back to the Broncos. Washi played it ahead for Passel to the near half wall, Poland with it. Now it's Loud, plays it up left wing at center. Here it comes Nice to the middle, a chip that goes past the stick of Barry. He'll wrap this one into the zone and went too high off the glass and out of play. So Barry with an honest attempt to just dump that in. Gave it a nice rip on a slap shot and the puck bounced off the glass up and out and a neutral zone drop coming up on the Miami right wing. Pulses to the Bronco line with 95 seconds remaining in the second. Killing in the draw, he'll take it against Paul Washi, the senior out of Clarkston, Michigan. And the Broncos win it back in their own end. Here's Poland, right wing at center, chips it over the Miami line. Pass will try to return the centering play to Poland. Red Hawks still break up the play and get it back to center where a change of possession is happening every two seconds. Broncos finally get control of the puck and try to take it over the line of the left wing, but an offside is Paul Washi and Passell trying to work together there. Barbellini, nice job to get in the way of that to delay the entry of the puck, and Western called for it. Draw comes to the Miami right wing, closest to their blue line. Joey Cassetti in the draw for the Red Hawks. We'll take the draw against Van Oss. Clean Miami win. Molten up the left wing boards. Can't hit Phil Nyes at center. And icy call here on Miami. As Nyes fell down trying to get over the Miami line and get a chip on the puck. He tussled up down there with Tim Washi. And Western will select the right face off circle of Miami zone for the draw coming out of the icing. Tim Washi will take the faceoff for Western Michigan. This last weekend, he was 71.4% in the circle. Granger with a clean one after the draw. A hard shot that is a left pad saved by Pearson. Sladek far half wall, plays it to the middle. Fiedler wraps it around the boards behind the net. Pearson will grab it there for the Red Hawks and leave it for Clement to the far corner for Moulton. Off the end boards. Gave it up for Sladek. It's at the right wing at center. Joy All plays it ahead. Sladek chipped it off his stick. Gave it right back to the Broncos. Granger coming through center for Joy All, who will clear this one up the near wing boards behind the Miami net. Icing waved off as Basalt beats Clement out for the puck below the goal line. Sladek with him behind the Miami cage. Far corner Gilling trying to slide it past Hilson Dagger. Able to grab it to Phil Nyes. Through center comes Sladek. The chip over the line and the left wing to the near corner. Joy all to the far side for Paul Washi. Plays it up to the far boards where Pazel chips it back behind the cage behind Pearson. And Dashke in the far corner of the Miami zone chips it ahead up the far boards. Silver and Poland tussle for the puck. Dashke with it now for the Red Hawks. Plays it left wing over the line at center comes Pletsky to the near corner. As Lanidis wraps it around the board to the far side. Keeling can't control it there. And the horn sounds to end the period. Little tussle at the Bronco line on the far side of the ice. That is ended fairly quickly by the linesman. And the Red Hawks trail Western Michigan 2-1 after 40. So at a crowdless game in Oxford, Ohio, where there isn't a whole lot of energy in the arena from the small amount of people sitting in the stands. The Miami Red Hawks need to find some energy of their own here. If they want to have a shot at winning this game against Western Michigan. As we're at the second intermission. Miami in this game has lacked energy. They've had poor puck handling, especially in the second period. And offensively, not much effort. And they trail the Broncos 2-1 here after 40. We'll take a little peek at your scoring summary back in the second period. The only goal in that period scored by Western Michigan's 8-19 into the frame. Josh Passel, a power play goal after a Matt Berry tripping minor. Ronnie Adder and Aiden Fulp provide the assists. And that's been the difference so far after the teams were tied at one after the first period. 2-1 Western Michigan leads it again after 40 minutes. A little peek at your stats here. 
Shots after 20 minutes or 40 minutes of play are in favor of Western Michigan, 24 to 11. So they have over twice as many shots as the Red Hawks do after two periods of play. Both teams have had a power play goal in this one so far. The Broncos are one for two on the power play. Miami one for one. They've only had a single power play opportunity in the game so far. Face-offs are being won by Western Michigan, a very slim margin in that category, 18 to 17 over Miami. Red Hawks have nine blocks to Western Michigan's four, and the Red Hawks leading the penalty minutes count right now by a 4-2 margin with a couple of minors in this game. So that's where we stand so far after 40 minutes of play here in Oxford. And if the Red Hawks can just find some energy, find some spark, find some willingness to get it done, in the third period, they may have a shot at coming back, but the Miami team that was out there for the middle 40 minutes, for the middle 20 minutes, after 40 minutes, did not show enough willingness or heart to accomplish anything in the game. So can they find some energy here in the locker room between the second and third period to try to get something done? And would like to continue that little two-game winning streak they started in Kalamazoo last weekend, but a pretty tall order here in order to continue that the Red Hawks have against the Western Michigan Broncos. 1-0 your score after 40 minutes of play. Our second intermission coming up right now. We have 13 minute break or so. So stick with us here through the second intermission and the break. Our third period coming up in just a little over 10 minutes. You're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
teams are back out on the ice as we are getting ready to begin period number three here in Oxford. Patrick Gitchin with you here on Red Hawk Radio. Glad you're with us. As we are ready to begin the final 20 minutes of play here from Steve Candy Arena tonight in a 2-1 Bronco lead after 40 minutes. They'll carry that into the third period here. And a chance for Western Michigan to snap their little two-game losing streak that they're on. After the sweep of Miami, or by Miami, last weekend in Kalamazoo. Rocks move left to right across the radio in period number three. And we are underway as a clean win at center ice by Paul Washi in the draw to the near corner of the Western Michigan zone. And Aiden Fulp wraps it around the far half wall where Poland could not keep it in. Ben Lown to the far corner of the Miami offensive zone, cycles it behind the net for Barbellini. To the right point for right, Quist, a shot through traffic, went wide to the left post, past his Landis. And pulling up through the right wing, over the line comes Passel to the circle, driving on the net, could not quite get the angle. Reichwist was able to angle him off. Puck back to center, Reichwist here, over the line on the right wing. With Barbellini, will play it to the left side for Daschke, a shot wide in the net from the left circle. And is in the far corner. We're coming out of the zone of the for Western Michigan. Scooter Bricky plays it all the way down the ice past the stick of Cole Gallant. Pearson behind his net will leave it there. Was out of the reach of Gallant. War out of the near corner of the Western Michigan zone. Will tussle for it. And goes into the corner for Gallant. Hilson dagger shot into the shin pads. A slot from the left point. And it's back to center. Phil Nines gloves it over the Bronco line on the right wing. Bricky with it, near circle in his zone end for Western Michigan, around the far boards, pass through Warad, off the stick of Frank, two on one the other way, Granger far circle, in front for Warad, and a great sliding save made there by Pearson, when the left pad is the little wrist shot, was about a foot over the ice. Up through the center circle, Fiedler, right wing at center, hit a pass there, that went off the stick of Joyall to the far corner, Tim Washi turns it over in the Miami zone. Drasser trying to feed it up the right wing, could not connect with Silver, and Fiedler plays it in on the left point behind the Miami net. Buck squirts to the far half wall. Bricky came in there, leaves it behind the cage. Drasser back to the far corner for Sinard. Tim Washi lets it go, up the far boards comes Cassetti. The chip forward, Adder right point at center, plays it to the middle, Hill and Brand over the line. Will be broken up immediately by Pletsky, who was high in the zone waiting for him. Lutsky far circle, slides it to the near corner for Drasner, back to the far corner for Siddharth. Leans it up the left wing boards, off the stick of Pletsky, turned over. Hattered over the middle of the Bronco line, we got a whistle here, a penalty's coming up on the play, and it might be against the Broncos. Interference is called, who do they have? Called by Joe Sullivan, the referee, standing in the near corner of the Miami zone, and they got actually Van Oss from Western Michigan for interference. Maybe something in front of the net. And they say now the penalty under review. He may have knocked down Sinard in front. Something that was not near the puck, so I didn't see it. And they're reviewing this for a possible major. Nobody's really injured on the play, but it was something that occurred behind the puck, not near the puck. Possibly in front of the Miami net is Van Oss. That's where he was standing when the whistle was blown and Western Michigan had possession of the puck when the whistle was blown. Seventeen forty-three to go here in the third. And a 2-1 Bronco lead from Oxford. No access to a monitor so I cannot see the replay of what exactly went down, trying to get stretched out here to see it. And then right now they're not showing a replay on the uh, program. So in a 2-1 game, that the Broncos lead power play coming up for the Red Hawks here. They're one for one on the power play tonight. And the question right now, is it two or five? As they have Brett Van Oss in the box. So again, these two teams meet tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Eastern in game two of the series. And it will be the fourth straight time these two teams meet each other. And then after 
next weekend. Red Hawks are back here at home after this weekend, talking about next weekend. 7 o'clock start Friday against Minnesota Duluth. Saturday, 7.30 start against the Bulldogs coming to Oxford next weekend. Broncos, as we get our call here, they're back home against St. Cloud next weekend. And our verdict has come through in the announcement from Joe Sullivan. Wow, the band is coming out. Head contact. And it's funny because I never even saw what happened. It was just kind of hidden away from the puck and not even the TV broadcast was able to find a replay for it. Never saw one. Well, now we're showing one on the board. Oh, there's a hit at the Miami line. Van Oss came through and gave a shoulder to Pletsky as the puck was being carried in on the opposite wing. Pletsky is on a bench. I see him. He's seated. Seems to be fine. No medical attention. But his shoulder came up into the head of Pletsky, who went down pretty hard, but got right back up as Western Michigan had a chance on net. So Van Oss's night is done to Miami, a five minute power play here. They're down by one with 17 and a half to go in the third. And a great chance to climb back into this game happening now. Miami in the offensive zone, Casey Gilling plays it to the near corner of the Bronco end. Turned over there and a nice board battle win by the Broncos, Jason Poland. Up the near wing boards, plays it in on Pearson and the Miami net. 30 seconds gone in the power play. Savage gives it up for Dashke behind the red-hot cage. Skates it up through the left wing and through center ice. We'll chip it in over the line to the near corner of the Western Michigan zone. Hilson Dagger first to it. Gave it up for Cassetti on a play to the far corner. Back to the left point for Barry. Skates it down to the circle. And the corner spins around back up the boards for Savage. Down to the far corner for Barry. Back to the line. Dashke plays it cross ice. Killing at the right point. Slides it ahead. Near corner, Cassetti around the boards in the far wing for Barry. Back to the right point for Gilling, top of the near circle. Behind the net, Cassetti in the corner, back to the right point again. Dashke slides it far circle, Barry waits. Will play it in front, chip by Savage right into the bread basket of Aslanidis. On a little one-time play there, nice little look by Barry to go right to the slot. Savage scored a goal there earlier in the game and a little chip on the rim of the left circle into the chest area of Aslanidis. 3.44 to go in the power play, 2-1 Western Michigan leads at 16.27 to go in the third. Adder behind the net after a clean faceoff win. Frank tried to clear it up the near wing boards, but Miami kept it in at the right point. Rydquist was there to stop the clearing attempt. Barbellini sends it from the far corner back around the boards to the right point for Rydquist. Slides it left point for Drazer, back to the far corner. Graham to the line, right quest to the near circle. Nice, back for right quest to one timer, his stick shattered, he'll go to the bench to get another one. Barbellini wraps this one around the boards to the near point. Nice, comes in to give it to Dashke just off the bench. Far circle for Drazner, so now five guys are back out there for Miami. Rykwist just came off, faster for Dashke to just come out and replace him. Graham behind the net, near circle, Nyes, and he gave up the puck, trying to slide it to the line, but that was kind of a weird play because nobody was there. He just flew it right out of the zone. So it's Dasky far circle of his own end, feeds it back. Casey Gilling, left wing at center, Barry. Can't get it forward to Cassetti, turned over, and then is Poland to chase it to the far corner of the Miami zone. 2.36 to go on the power play for the Red Hawks. 15.15 to go on the third. And Western, a shorthanded chance, is at the right point. Scooter Bricky played a shot in on that. Washi was wide open in front, providing a screen. But the puck went through him and into the bread basket of Pierce, who made a lucky cover. And that's what I was talking about the lack of energy, the poor puck handling. And the lack of grip by the Red Hawks tonight has been costing them. And there's a perfect example. 2.31 to go in the power play. 15.14 to go in the third. Clean win by Miami on the draw in their defensive zone. Reichwist to the middle. Game it for Nyes. Back to the right point for Reichwist. Or right wing for Reichwist. And Western Michigan will break this one out quickly. Gallant is in on his shorthand. A breakaway up the left wing. And a nice forehand backhand move. Saved by Pearson with a right pad to shut it down. Wow, Red Hawks are really falling apart on this power play, and they just gave up a short-handed breakaway. 
Ryquist over the line on the right wing. Fed it back for Sladek. Galan immediately on him to force it back to center. Nice cross ice for Graham on the far wing in the Miami zone. 150 to go in the power play. Left wing Nice with an angle to the net. Top of the far circle, spins around, gives it for Barbellini through the left circle. The shot shouldered away by Aslanidis. Barbellini with the rebound near corner. Fulp puts him against the boards. It's turned over as Frank gives it up for Warad. Back to Frank over the line of the left wing. Cuts to the middle. Gave it back for Warad, trying to set him up on the rush, but it's chipped up and out of play by Nyes, who came in to try to break it up. Question is, where's the draw? It looks like it'll be held in neutral ice, as they say it went off Western Michigan. 14-11 left in the third. 2-1 Western Michigan lead. 1.29 to go in the power play. 14-10 remains in the third. Dashkey far corner for the Red Hawks. Chips it behind the net to the near wing. Gilling has it behind the cage and then gives it back for Dashkey. Gilling near wing. We'll slide it left point over the line. Comes Cassetti to the far circle for Bricky. Chips it off the boards. Dashkey, right point for Gilling. The shot way over the net. A bullet there on a wrister. Right-handed shot was Gilling. He's got it high in the zone. Center line for Dashkey. Far circle, Barry with a puck. Plays it back down low for Savage, standing next to the post at the goal line. A sliding attempt by Gilling to keep his pass in. It was three feet wide of him. And Western grabs it there. Paul Washi the play from center ice. In on net, padded away by Pearson. 42 seconds to go in the five minute major power play. It's turnover by Dashke. Pass on wide open, left wing drive, and a shot, and a save by Pearson in the bread basket off the left handed wrister by Passel in the near circle of the Miami zone. Dashke there was trying to just spin around and give it back to the defenseman on the power play, rush up ahead, but instead, fan on the attempt and Passel right there to turn it over and get a wide open left handed lane to the net. Draw coming to the right of Pearson. 35 seconds to go in the major power play for Miami. 13-17 remains in the third. 2-1 Bronco lead. Ben Lowndes skates it out up the right wing. Back through center. Adder to spin around play in his own end to get it in on Pearson. And Miami has to regroup again from their own zone. Here's Ben Lowndes. Through center ice. Chips it into the far corner of the Bronco zone and behind the net. Lowndes will play it to the near corner. Ethan Frank. Skates it up with Monty Graham. Loud back to the right point for Clement. Dina Dia went off the skate of Moulton and out of the zone. War out him, crashed into the board's far side. Ethan Frank over the line on the right wing as the power play's over. Miami now unable to convert on the five minute major power play here in the second. And we're back to five on five with 12 and a half to go in the third. Left point Granger for Western Michigan. Slides through the left circle, big shot, big rebound. It's sticked away to the far side by Silver out of play. He got out the lob wedge to just fling it out on the far side for immediate timeout after the whistle. So Miami unable to convert on the five minute power play. They trail Western Michigan two to one with 12.24 to go in the third. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Twelve twenty-four to go in the third. Patrick gets you back with you here in Oxford. Draw to the left of Pearson in the Miami zone. Western Michigan, the clean win. They get it behind the net. But Sinard Far Corner plays it behind the cage, and Drasner's there to work it out high in the zone. Western Michigan quickly back into the zone, though, as they regrouped at center. Tim Washi playing to the near corner. Up the near wing boards comes Silver. He's 
punched up against the boards there by Hillebrand. And it's back into the Western Michigan end as Fiedler feeds it over for Michael Joyo. In behind the Miami net, Drazner crashes in with Hillebrand and the play comes in on Pearson who makes the cover as the puck squirted up in front of the net. We got some shenanigans going after the whistle. You got Hillebrand and Sinard down there battling for it. Trying to grab each other's helmet. That's quickly broken up by the linesman and we'll get the draw here coming up, I believe, to the left of Pearson. With 11.47 to go in the third. Oh, we got a penalty on the Broncos. Hillebrand will go. And I think they called cross-checking. So that occurred after the play when he was tied up with Sinard. They decided to just take Chad Hillebrand of Western Michigan. So a two minute power play coming up for the Red Hawks who are one for two on the power play tonight. And the draw coming up in their offensive zone to the right of Aslanidis. So another opportunity here for Miami to convert and tie this game up. The Trail of Broncos 2-1 with 11.47 to go in the third. But a face-off loss to start it for the Red Hawks and an immediate clear from the far corner off the high glass by Fulp behind the Miami net. Pearson gives it up for Gilling to the far corner for Derek Daschke. He's got it behind the Miami cage. We'll scan it out through the far circle and leave it back for Barry. Barry out of the zone, reaches the red line, middle of the ice, over the Bronco line, stripped to the puck though by Adder. He gave it up ahead for Washi, the backhand clear in on the Miami net. And it's played behind the cage by Pearson where Dasky will grab it. 126 to go on the power play. Dasky tosses it back, Barry skates it out of the zone, passes the right wing for Gilling, through the middle. Over the line of the left wing, Cassetti can't get it past Collant. Will on the second try and then Gilling trying to pass it to the right point. It goes out of the zone, and he will chase it back at his own end. The feed over for Dashke. 105 to go on the power play. Savage gives it back. Gilling over the center line. Now over the Bronco line in the left wing. The dump around the boards to the near wing. Savage gave it away for Barry, right point. Slides it back for Dashke. Now Barry standing near half wall. Walks into the circle. Pass left point. Gilling over to Dashke. Right point when it's in his skates, so he couldn't get a clean shot off. Back to the line for Killing. Center of the blue line for Dashke. Barry, center point. The drive wide of the net. Far corner picked up here by Savage. In the far circle, the shot blocked by his own man, Cassetti. Puck goes off him to Bricky. Can't clear up the left wing boards. Killing, though, a spin around play to slide it across the ice. And Dashke will wrap it around to the far half wall. Savage to the far corner. Cassetti plays it behind the net. Grabbed there by Pasult. And an easy clear for him off the near wing boards. Glass and behind the net. 12 seconds to go on the power play. Pearson gives it for Sinard near corner of the Miami zone. 9.53 to go on the third. And it doesn't look like the Red Hawks will convert on this man advantage. Trouble getting it through center for Miami. And is coming out of the box is Hillebrand. A puck squirts in after a weird bounce in the far circle where it's covered up by Aslanidis. And the stoppage will occur with a media timeout with 9.42 to go in the third. 2-1, Broncos lead it. They are out shooting Miami 31-14 right now. And that's where we stand here a little over halfway through the third. You're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Green.
Well, 9.42 remains here in the third period from Oxford and Western Michigan clinging to a 2-1 lead. Although not a whole lot of pressure by Miami to overcome that as they've had two power plays unable to convert on here in this third. Coming out of the timeout, Western Michigan works it into the offensive zone over the line on the left point and behind the net. Drags it in the far corner for the Red Hawks. Plays it to the near wing. Sinard off the boards to Lown, who is waiting high in the zone. But turn it over back to Western Michigan, who plays it behind the Miami net. Drazer skates it out of the Red Hawks zone, left wing. He was trying to go indirect for a pass over to Nyes, but let go of the puck before the red line. The pass couldn't connect, and it went into the zone for an icing. That's the kind of stuff, just the miscommunication, the lack of effort, the lack of skating. Kills you. So the drop coming here to the left of Pearson with 9.08 to go in the third. Shots are 31-14, like I mentioned, in favor of the Broncos. And you have Graham scoring off here against Warad. Puck in the near corner, Frank plays it ahead. Up the near boards, back to the line for Fiedler, his rip wide in the net to the far corner for Frank. Skates it up the far wing boards, slides it left point, Fiedler plays it wide to the post. Graham was on that, gave it up for Siddharth, coming out of the corner with a puck. Trying to take it up the boards. Warat works it down the wing. In the corner, they battle for it, two against two. Drazner behind the net for the Red Hawks. We'll play this one off the glass, all the way down the ice, into the far corner where it is grabbed here. Behind the net by Western Michigan's Cedric Fiedler. Playing it through center ice in the circle. Washi, Paul Washi plays it ahead. Pulling through the middle of the ice, chasing it to the far circle. Capstick able to get in on him and turn over the puck as he takes it behind the Miami net. He clears it back to center. Nilsson Dagger trying to calm it down there. Sladek applying pressure. Miami over the line on the right wing, but they're offside as Barbellini entered the zone before the puck as Cassetti right on the boards on the right wing trying to shovel it in. But did so too late after Barbellini entered. 2-1 Broncos, 8.05 left in the third. Clean win on the neutralized draw on the Western Michigan left wing closest to their line by Tim Washi. Broncos will get this one into the offensive zone. They're offside though. Somebody jumped ahead of the dump and attempt by Rome. And Ox with it, left wing at center. Barbellini in a battle on the boards, kicks it free, but back to the Western Michigan zone and they have it. Nilsson Dagger up ahead for Tim Washi. The chip into the Miami end near corner. Picked up by Gilling. Slides it far point for Capstick. Plays it ahead on the left wing. Back to center. Sladek first to it. Over the line came Barbellini. The play to the middle. Turned over. Back to the Broncos. They work it to neutral ice. And then back in their own end. Full right wing stretch pass. Wide open lane for Bricky to the net. A slap shot that he drove wide to the corner. Play is back at center ice. Coming over the line, the left wing, and a penalty coming up here. Paul Washi's stick was just slashed out of his hands, and Miami will be shorthanded with 7.14 to go in the third. Reitquist is going to go. He kind of made a lazy attempt there to defend Paul Washi. He was taking the puck over the Miami line on the left wing. Reitquist gave him a nice two-hander right in the twing, and the stick came out of his hands. So Reitquist will sit for two minutes. And Miami will have to kill to stay in this game in a 2-1 Bronco lead. 7-14 to go in the third. Clean win for the Broncos. Far circle their offensive zone to start the power play off. Gallant, far circle, back to center point. Joyo the rip near circle by Frank, blocked down by a body. Joyo has it center point again for Western Michigan. Top of the far circle, gets it back on a give and go. Joyo a rip from the center line. And it's into the bread basket of Pearson who makes the save. Little give and go action with Warad there who passed it to the center point where Joyal ripped the slap shot right into the bread basket of Pearson. He makes the stop draw coming to his right. Seni and Warad will square off in it. 6.56 to go in the third, 142 to go in the penalty. Frank near half wall for Gallant. Skates it up the left point. Sinard there will battle with him. Frank gives it to the middle, Warad wide open, feed left wing, Glover backhand, forehand, and he scores. What a move and what a breakdown of the Miami penalty kill. 
two on zero in the offensive zone for Western Michigan with all four Miami players in the defensive zone. He had a great play by Warad to get free and get a feed up the right wing. He had a break to the net, but then Glover joined the play, got the pass over for Warad, and then the left-handed player down the left wing went forehand backhand over the glove side of Pearson as the puck scored it inside the right post a few feet into the net. Three to one Broncos, they capitalize on the power play. Western and Western Michigan is two for three tonight on the man advantage. They say the goal unassisted. I'm gonna think that Warad would get an assist for that. He passed it right to Glover. So I would think that changes. First goal of the year for Lucas Glover. And Miami will play this one into the Western Michigan bench, trying to get into the zone on the right wing. So Andy Murray's squad has to feel pretty good about their performance tonight with 6.24 to go in the third. It's not over yet, but you have to feel that the performance they put up has really overcome Miami in all areas of the game tonight. Offensively, defensively, and special teams too. Western Michigan Broncos two for three on the power play today and they've killed off two of three Miami power plays. Got a hand pass here in the Miami offensive zone as the Red Hawks trying to play it forward. You had Reitquist trying to get it ahead to Barbellini with his hand. So the draw will come back to neutral ice on the Miami left wing closest to the Bronco line. 6.09 to go in the third and the Red Hawks still being dramatically outshot in this game, 33 to 14. Bucket center, Clement after the clean faceoff win, wraps it around the board to the far side. Pletsky tussling there with Bricky. As they fight for it along the far half on the Miami offense's zone. Bricky and Pletsky now crash in the far corner. Win by Western Michigan in the battle. They clear it off the near wing boards all the way down the ice. And behind the Miami net, an icing call here against Western Michigan as Rome made that play trying to get it out. A penalty kill style clear by him. And the Broncos cleared called rather for the icing and the face off coming to the left of Aslandis here with 547 to go in the third. Three to one your score, Broncos on top. Tim Washi squares off of the draw with Cassetti. Clean win by the Broncos to the far corner. He slides it near wing. Hilson Dagger gave it up there. Miami with it, high slide. Barbellini trying to stick handle through all the players, doesn't work. And Miami will lose control of the puck. Ethan Rome, left wing at center, will dump it in behind Pearson. Pearson, the wrap to the far half hole. He and Drasner collide with the puck. Warad with it, far corner of the rush from Michigan offensive zone, trying to wrap it around the right post. Didn't quite get the angle, though. Good Miami defense as Cassetti came in to shut down the attempt. Cassetti with a puck now, left wing at center. Chips it forward. Barbellini and Fiedler chase after it in the far corner of the Miami offensive zone. Broncos will clear it up the right side, but not out as Reichwist. Met the puck at the right point to play it to the far corner. Here's Silver, high in the zone. Reichwist near circle with some room. The shot, blocker saved by Aslanidis. Comes to the near wing for Galan, who gets it back at center. And will give it to Fiedler in his own end. To play right wing, a pass trying to connect with the stick of Joy. All it goes off his stick, chips off the glass into the seventh row of stands and out of play. And everybody is okay up there. We'll get a timeout with 4.47 to go in the third period. A neutralized draw coming up after the final media timeout of this one. Western Michigan 3, Miami 1. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
Well, with 4.47 to go in the third period, Rex, you're gonna have to try to find something here to come back in this one down 3-1 to the Western Michigan Broncos. Patrick Eschen with you here on Red Hawk Radio is after the timeout, Miami wins the neutralized Toronto play it behind the cage. And they get into the offensive zone where Daschke fires a shot from the left point that goes off a stick and out of play out the near corner. So just to be clear, the public attendance was not allowed for this game or for any game this season here inside Steve Keeney Arena. You do have each team allowed to hand out 50 tickets though to parents and family and staff, family, etc. So they are allowed to attend. So you have some people in the stands on the far side of the ice, but of course they're all spaced out with masks and the type that are pretty seasoned hockey watchers that don't go too crazy in the stands. Western Michigan down the ice, over the line on the right wing comes Frank into the offensive zone. Chases the puck to the near corner after it was knocked off his stick by Silver. Dashke behind the cage to the far side for Rykwist. Feeds it up ahead on the left point. Nyes will give it over for Graham. Left wing over the Bronco line. He will try to get past Adderd, who prevented him from getting to the puck. Graham does so and fires a pass. A centering play from the near corner that went off the stick of Sladek to the far half wall. Molten with it, right point, the play in front. Two on two battle for position there. Western Michigan got control of the puck and played it forward. Washi over the line, the left wing for the Broncos, cutting through the middle of the crease. And a nice backhand play on Pearson, who made a great save on it. Barry over the line, right wing for Miami into the Western Michigan zone. Molten was with it behind the net, gave it up for Barbellini. Battle ensues. Paul Washi emerges with a puck. Up the far half wall for the Broncos and will shovel this one out past Passault and back to center and beyond. Clement with it behind the Miami net, feeds the left wing in the circle is Moulton. He will take it over the center line and over the right wing. Turned over though to Granger right into the zone. Who plays it ahead for Clement off the far boards. Clement gave it up for Tim Washi down the far half wall. He'll play it to the middle off the near wing boards. Ben Lown in the corner. We'll take it over for the Red Hawks and play it to the far side for Clement. Lown the chip forward, Barbellini gave it up through the center circle, back for Moulton on defense in his own end. The left wing feed, Barry will chip it behind the Bronco net from the line. Rome gets it back at center after a feed from Aslanidis behind his net. Rocks turn it over though at the center line. They get it into the zone for a brief moment, then are forced back out. As an empty net now, they bring off Pearson, so six on five. Red Hawks down three to one with two and a half to go in the third. Six on five play, yelling over the middle of the line. Break to the net to the shot, saved by Aslanidis. This rebound clear to the corner and out of the zone by the Broncos. Nice work on defense. Is getting it out of the zone was Fiedler. Adder far circle of his own end, plays it up the left wing boards. Right center ice, wraps it around the boards to the near corner, and then the half wall. Savage. We'll play this one in front of the net. Nobody home though for Miami. Gilling will knock down the clearing attempt at center to prevent it from going all the way down the ice. Feeds it right wing. Savage waiting for it at the Bronco line in the near corner. Adder to wrap around the boards to the left point over the skein of Drasner who is trying to kick the bouncing buck. And Gilling with it in his own end. Miami down by two. 140 to go here in the third. Three to one. The Broncos lead it. Drasner plays it into the Western Michigan zone near half wall. Graham for Paul Washi. The clear back to center. Through the circle comes Poland over the line of the left wing. In the near circle, Poland with a wide open look to the net and he will score the empty net goal to make it four to one Western Michigan with a 126 to go in the third. So Jason Poland, the sophomore out of Holt, Michigan will pretty much seal the deal there for the Broncos. We lead it by three with 126 remaining in the final period. We'll see who the assists go to on that. As Brock was doing a good job to just slowly work it into the Miami zone on that play and pulling wide open, left wide open in the left circle without much defense in the offensive end. Easy play along the ice to put it into the empty net. Pearson is back in his cage now with Miami down by three and about a minute to go. Behind the net, Clement gave it up for Barry off the high glass, back to center. You have Bricky through center ice, plays it right wing for Rome, the chip over the line to the far circle. Clement to the near corner for Barry. 
Plays it middle for Capstick over the line. The play dumped in by Holland and behind Aslanidis. 50 seconds to go in the third. Cleared back to center by the Broncos. Draz in his own end, right point, slides it over to the left defenseman, Sinard. Play to the far corner of the Western Michigan zone. Fiedler wraps it around the boards to the near wing. Where Gallant chips it forward, and Frank, the other way, will beat all the Miami defenders with a backhand shot down the left wing that's shouldered away by Pearson. Sinard behind the net, gave it up for Drasner. 22 seconds to go in the third. The right wing board chipped by Lown behind the net. And Fiedler will grab it for the Broncos behind his own cage. Centric Fiedler up the right wing boards, through center, playing it forward. Daschke knocked it ahead for Graham. Feeds a right wing for Rightquist with three seconds to go over the Bronco line and behind the Bronco net. And the horn will sound, and that will do it. Four to one, your final from Oxford, Ohio tonight. The Western Michigan Broncos defeating the Miami Redhawks in game one of this series. And Miami will fall in their home opener. Western Michigan snaps their two-game losing streak. They're now 4-0-1 in their last five games here in Oxford. And the Broncos will snap that little two-game skid that they started last weekend in their three-game winless streak that goes all the way back to the NCHC pod is over as well. As the teams will stick tap each other on their respective blue lines. So 4-1 your final tonight. We'll take a look at your final scoring summary. Red Hawks again had a good start in this game. They got the scoring fairly early going on the power play. Ryan Savage had his first of the year on the power play. Matt Berry and Casey Gilling the assists. And Miami started the game off pretty well. They led it 1-0, 3-13 into the period. Western Michigan responded to tie the game up 1-1, 19-59 into the first period as Ronnie Adder got the even strength goal assisted by Ty Glover and Michael Joyo with 1.2 seconds left in the first period. Josh Passel on the power play gave Western Michigan the 2-1 lead. He had the eventual game winning goal 8-19 into the second period. It was Passel's first, of, or not his first of the year. It was his, let's see here real quickly. Try to find him on the line chart. His fourth of the year is 11th point of the year for Passel. Again, on the power play, 8-19 into the second. Aiden Fulp and Ronnie Adder the assist to give Western a 2-1 lead. And then in the third, the blitz of goal scored by the Broncos, 13-17 -7, into the third. Things were started off by Ty Glover on the power play in terms of scoring. Drew Warad and Ethan Frank providing the assists on that tally to give Western the 3-1, two-goal lead. And then Broncos adding the empty netter, 1834 into the third period. Jason Pullen with the tally for the Broncos. Paul Washi adding the lone assists on that goal to give Western Michigan the final win tonight of four to one. So the Broncos so improved this season to three, eight, and two on the year. Red Hawks fall to four, eight, and one. And it will be interesting to see at the end of the night how this shakes up the NCHC standings at all. We'll take a brief look at the standings here at the latest update. Western Michigan will not slide into any place except for last with the win. So they go from eight points to 11, still behind Colorado College in Miami's 14th. Both of those teams are in seventh place respectively. So the Broncos still remain in last. They could tie for seventh place tomorrow if they beat Miami again and sweep them as both teams would then have 14 points after that but you still have Colorado College, Miami and Western Michigan the last three teams in the standings CC and Miami have 14 points and Western with eight so that is the last three spots in the NCHC standings in front of those three teams is Denver they have 15 points and then ahead of them is Omaha who's in fourth place with 19. So again both teams will play tomorrow night here at Goggin Ice Center five o'clock start then for both of these teams, I want to remind you tomorrow coming up, we have two broadcasts on Red Hawk Radio. That begins at 1 o'clock Eastern in the afternoon. Men's basketball at Miami takes on Northern Illinois over at Millette. I'll be over at Millette for the call of that one. And join us at 1 o'clock Eastern time here on Red Hawk Radio for that game. And then back over to Goggin tomorrow afternoon. An unusual time for hockey. 5 o'clock Eastern time start for the Red Hawks in the series finale against Western Michigan tomorrow. So again, your final score tonight, Western Michigan 4, Miami 1, here from Goggin Ice Center in Oxford. Thank you so much for joining us. The home opener for Miami and our opener here on Red Hawk Radio this season on the ice. 
Hope you'll join us tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the series finale between these two. Until then, everybody, Patrick Eschen for the rest of our crew saying so long. Good night here from Oxford, Ohio. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for the doubleheader. This has been a presentation of Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.